and welcome to our fly through for our Greenwood Academy uh, new build. Here we are on Farnborough Road, we're looking at the front aspect of the building. Um, on the very front of the building will be our visitors uh, entrance. As we come down through the, uh, the pathway there, you can see the main visitor's entrance uh, double doors. You can see that uh, double aspect with lots and lots of light flooding into the uh, um, Farnborough side or road side of the uh, academy itself. Through the doors, here we go, and into reception. This is our security point here, so obviously can't be buzzed through without the receptionist allowing me to do so. There's the reception desk on my right. And as I look to my left, we're going to have a public access uh, hair and beauty facility where obviously we'll be encouraging our community to be able to take advantage of the beauty therapies that we'll have available uh, through our courses and through our students. Um, so a really exciting community space there that's uh, going to be developed. Again, just looking at some of the design bits of the building. Uh, nice uh, window feature from the first floor looking over the reception area. Uh, again, allowing that light to flood around the building. Here we go, I've been buzzed through, so I'm obviously been checked out and I'm okay, and my ID's okay. Here we are in the canteen. To my left there was the main staircase, but we're gonna go into the canteen, jumping over the desks. Clearly I can do it on my video, won't be doing it in the school. Here we go, looking around. Uh, really nice canteen facility that's uh, gonna enable us to um, serve uh, hot and cold foods. Um, it's also right next to the food technology area, so again, a space that we'll be able to take advantage of for our students learning um, when, they're, when they're doing their catering um, studies, etc. Uh, double aspect again, and the reason for that clearly is, is to give it a real open feel uh, and also to allow that light to flood around the building. Um, I'm looking back on the first floor there, and then uh, on the below it was the admin area. Right, here we go, we're going to go down through the main corridor area at the rear of the school. All the doors, nice hardwood doors, been uh, designed so that they um, will last as long as uh, the, the, the existing building, so 50 years time we'll be looking back on uh, the fly-through. Looking up through the, the corridors, it's uh, two-storey and at the very top is uh, glass window lights to, to allow that light to flood down through the, the layers. Um, really a, a deliberate design feature to ensure there's no dark corners to the building, it feels very warm. Okay, this is uh, possibly my most favourite space within the school. This is the, uh, will be the new school assembly hall, theatre, performance space, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, but it's going to be very flexible. The, the seating here is obviously tiered, which will make our performances much more uh, uh, enjoyable. But at the same time, but that seating is also retractable, so it will go flat against the wall. Um, got a proper uh, purpose-built control room there for our sound and lighting so that uh, our, our students obviously can get the experience of doing those things in a very professional way. Flexible staging space again gives us the ability to put on all sorts of different uh, performances and events uh, but both for school and, and obviously both uh, as for the uh, community events as well. Um, but the whole design of this particular facility has been in keeping with the fact that the school's uh, long-standing tradition of, of uh, high quality performance work and uh, particularly around the arts, uh, we've had a big input into making sure that it's uh, designed to our specification. So here we go, we're going to go out the other side of the hall into the front corridor. Again, uh, I'm about to look up into the building and you can see that it's, it's open over the two floors, uh, glass uh, shelving, glass banisters on each side. Um, for safety obviously and then that those uh, window lights on the roof allowing that light to come in on that, that corridor too. I'm walking down to the far end of the building now and I'm walking towards the art rooms. Uh, two art spaces, um, taking some of the best design features that we currently have on the existing building which is where the two art uh, specialists are able to collaborate so these rooms will be interconnected via their, their store cupboard so that they can continue to share their practice but again in a, a section of the building where the light will, will flood in and, and uh, be, be perfect for, for them to be able to undertake their, their art activity. So I'm going to go now um, out, back out the art rooms, you can see that, that corridor and, and that cupboard to the right there. Here we go. 
as I come out of the art room back into the corridor, I'm going to turn left and I'm going to go into the stairwell. Here we go. Before I go up the stairs, I'm just going to go out of this uh, side door, it's a, a fire door here. And just outside here on this fire door, this is going to be the students will walk down this side of the building to come into their entrance, which we'll have a closer look at a little bit later. And as I'm looking across this area here, this is going to be our, our quiet space, a reflection space, a kind of peace garden, and certainly the location where we're planning to have our time capsule to remember the 50 years of uh, school uh, that has taken place on uh, our old school site. Back into the building I go. Uh, got to struggle now to get up the staircase. Here we go. There, wrapping around. So there's staircases either end of the building, and then obviously there's the main master staircase in the middle. So I'm going up to the first floor now. Through those double doors. Classrooms either side, on the left and right. You can again see that nice open uh, corridor again with all that light flooding down in. School hall on the left. These are all classrooms on the right. And as I go down through, through the building here now, I'm going to head towards the canteen end again. And you'll be able to see uh, that feature of openness again as uh, I'm able to uh, peer over the banister um, over the, the, where the students will be um, having their lunch. Uh, so here we go, go pause now, look over the banister. Now to the left here, on all three floors, so ground floor, first floor, second floor, in the same locations are the, the toilets. These toilets have been designed so that, that they take all the features that the children tell us that they want to see in their school. So the cubicles, floor to ceiling, single cubicles, so um, safe and secure. And then obviously the hand wash facilities uh, are open so it can be well supervised. So no, uh, no, no spaces that are, are out of the way or, or hidden. Good supervision levels, uh, a feeling of safety and, and a feeling of, uh, of being able to use first class facilities as well. So I'm now going up to the second floor, I've just used a master staircase to do that. Um, some offices were just opposite me there and I'm now going to head towards the right which takes me towards the library in the sixth form end. I'm passing classrooms to the left and right and as I take this corner, nice little design feature here for the main entrance into the library here on the corner of the, uh, of the room, I go into the library. So this is going to be a lovely space, it's going to have uh, obviously traditional books but we're also looking at our te technological provision there as well. Out into the back, into the garden, this garden will be a lovely area to be able to read in quiet, taking in the lovely blue skies of Birmingham uh, and, and uh, obviously getting outside but a, a way of again being very safe, um, very well supervised uh, and, adding, and enhancing the experience of, of, of how we might read. We're now going to walk across the library and go out of one of the different entrances and we're going to go across the corridor into the sixth form space. So this is our, our sixth form space, equivalent of uh, two large classrooms um, and obviously there, there are teaching rooms that come off of the left and right. Um, I'm overlooking now the car park and what's really good about school is that it's been designed so that traffic is all kept separate to, 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 uh, to ensure safety. So the students uh, their pedestrianised areas as they come in are nowhere near where the cars will be or where the parking is and so when visitors come in or when parents come in uh, to drop off you, you come to the car park and then obviously the footpaths are away from that um, and then the, the external traffic in terms of the, the, the uh, visitors will come through to that, that entrance is dedicated at the front but the students will then walk through their peace garden through their lovely outdoor spaces and, and gain entrance in their room their large welcoming student entrance. Okay, going back down the corridor, past that library, uh, a couple of offices on the right, classrooms as well, and I'm going to head towards the, uh, the master staircase. Another classroom on the right there. Through the double doors. Again, balcony now I'm on the uh, second floor, uh, you can see, see the, the way that, that um, openness works and that light works, hall on the left there. I'm now heading towards the end of the building where science is, is going to be, 
So these are all science labs now that um, come off this corridor. And I'm actually going to go into one of the internal science labs, and you'll see why in a second. So as I turn left, I'm going to go into, into a lab. And what's really nice about these two labs that are on the internal part of the building is that if I go through the back door um, of the classroom here, you'll see that there is another rooftop open garden space. Um, so again, I can take in that lovely blue sky of Birmingham. But out here I can do my outdoor science learning, so thinking of all those things that you would do in biology, all those experiments that require to be um, outside, and uh, uh, whether it be to do with um, taking weather readings, etc, etc. We've got that space for the, for the science to do that. Um, so it would be another really nice dynamic working space. Coming back down through the corridor from the science area now and back into the main corridors. As I say, science is um, off, of, uh, off of all these, these, um, these rooms here. There's a few labs here on the right that have just gone by as well. School hall to the left again. As we go down through, you can see, again, there's, there's, not, there's not dead alleyways or anything like that. It's a very open, open design, and offices overlook corridors um, so that uh, students can gain good access to adults as and when required. Uh, go turn in a second, here we go. Gonna go past those toilets again, second floor, no difference to the first floor, no difference to the ground floor. Very safe, open format toilets, and exactly the kind of design the children have been asking for. And I'm now going to descend the master staircase. What I love as we get to the bottom of the staircase, you'll see again with the way the windows have been done. This window overlooks the reception area and, uh, and obviously looks out onto the main building. It's just a, another really nice way of, 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 uh, of putting that ethos of openness, that, that feeling that the, the, the school is, uh, is, 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 is an open, open to the community and, and very much part of the community. Here we go now, down the last staircase, down towards the ground floor. Again, that's that um, uh, area at the front there for reception. To the right is all the administration areas, and in front of me there's a couple of um, uh, off, um, meeting room spaces. And we've also got um, a community room on the corner. Oh, I think it's about to go through the doors now. Yeah, so the community room will be on the left there. This is uh, the other stairwell for, for, for the building. So we went, if you remember, we went up the other staircase at the other end of the building. I'm not going to go up the staircase this time. I'm going to come back in and we're going to try and go down into to the um, leadership suites and uh, through to the admin type area. One of the things about this building is that learning spaces have been maximised. So a lot of, of uh, administration space or office space has been minimised uh, with recognition that we do need to make sure there's more uh, emphasis on, on teaching spaces. The room that we're slightly stuck in at the moment, and uh, we'll come out of it in a second, uh, is uh, going to be my office space, the principal's office. Uh, still stuck in there, we'll come out in a second. Again, you can see it, it's been built to do the job, um, again, making sure that those other spaces have got far more emphasis in terms of the uh, footage that's been put aside for it. So here we go. I'll, I'll be able to exit this door any second now. Nope, I've been trapped. Clearly the telephone just went. Oh, here we go. I'm out. Perseverance won in the end. There's a little kitchenette obviously to serve the uh, admin area. Back out into the canteen. I'm now going to cross the canteen space and I'm going to head towards that student entrance. Student entrance is a double aspect again uh, with a real emphasis on, 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 on glass and light uh, and making it feel very warm, welcoming and transparent, you know, literally for, for students to feel that um, it's their space. I'm now in the outdoor relaxing space for students and what's really good about the design is that they don't double up these spaces with, with our outdoor sports spaces. So by having a tie up with the community and um, working with the uh, sports stadium, we'll have outdoor uh, sports spaces for, for the children to do their sports, uh, sport games like football or uh, rugby or cricket or whatever it might be without having to mix out with those students that perhaps want to be able to interact with their friends and play games without um, uh, mixing with, with, uh, with those sports. So. Um, 
uh, much diff much much improved from what we currently have on on the old site, uh, and much more open space for the for the children to, to, to be able to access. Now we've just gone into the sports um, block. To the left, we've got change rooms, and then we've got uh, office spaces. We're going to go to the right in a second, and we're going to the main sports hall, which is going to have, in terms of scale and size, it's the equivalent of four uh, courts. So it's a little bit bigger than the sports hall we currently have. And as we uh, wheel round the, uh, the, the sports hall, um, clearly we'll see that, um, uh, again, the, the, the notion of it being either a one sports uh, uh, block um, or into those four courts. This is now the fly round of the, the entire school, so you can get the sense of the main master block with, but um, obviously we've, we've had a thorough tour through. You can get see where those outdoor relaxing spaces are and again, um, the opportunity to have that mature planting that's there. Uh, to the right there you can see the hard standing, so the, the, uh, the multi-use games area. You can see on, as we've got what we're looking at at this side of the building is where the students have walk past their quiet reflection garden. And as we pan out from Farnborough Roadside, look beyond the trees and look beyond that multi-use games area and you can see those sports fields I was talking about that the children will be able to use their, um, be able to do their ball games. Thank you very much.